Hi guys, a DK here from Cororacad. Today I'm going to take you through how to get started in Cororacad.online kite design. If you go to this address here, which is shown in the video description below, this will take you to the beta test of the upcoming V1 release of Cororacad.online kite design. When you open this uh, open this link, you'll be taken to this page, which has our 3D design environment and all of our controls on the right hand side. Though CororaCAD.online will run on phones and tablets, we do recommend using uh, a desktop browser environment. I'm I'm currently on a Windows PC with a Chrome browser, but it will run uh, equally as well on Mac OS and Linux on any modern browser. We also highly recommend using a mouse for navigation. This allows for control over the 3D environment. A left button mouse click will allow you to rotate the design on the design canvas. A right button mouse click allows you to pan the design and the zoom wheel will allow you to zoom in and out. If you find the design ends up off the screen, you can come up to this icon saying zoom extents and that will bring the design back to the middle of the screen. Also in this menu at the, the top of the 3D canvas is a full screen button which allows you a bit more room for the design on the screen. And you can also toggle the parameters uh, menu on and off. And finally this cameras icon allows you to change the, the view to any number of presets which can be useful for, uh, for looking at more detailed parts of the kite. For now, we'll leave it on perspective. This first drop down menu is controls. This allows you to toggle between wireframe and rendered view. This can be handy to see some of the details that would have been obscured by the kite on the kite with a, uh, with a rendered view. This data panel in the top right is called the HUDs, HUD or Heads Up Display. This can be turned on and off with this control. If we look in the HUD, the flat canopy area of this default kite is 9 square metres. The target flat area under the size inputs, however, is showing 8.8 .8 metres. This is fairly typical of CororaCAD and uh, many of the parameters that define the kite affect the relationship between this target area and the final size of the kite. Typically you would work through a design and one of the last things you would adjust is this flat area in square meters to get to the desired kite size. And now if we change this to 9.8 square meters The kite will recalculate and we now have a 10 square meter kite. If I was to close this browser window now and then reopen, all of our changes to this kite would be lost. So we need a way of saving a particular design to be able to come back to it later to do more changes. So if we come to this, uh, these three dots on the top right hand uh, corner of the screen, there are three, uh, three options under this, uh, under this menu. The bottom one, export parameter values. If we click that, you'll find our browser will download a file parameters-export.json. If we show this in the folder, we can now rename this file to something applicable to the kite design we're working on.
that is now saved. If we return to our, our development environment, we can refresh this page. And our kite has now reverted back to the original 9 square meter. If we want to keep working on the 10 square meter kite, we'll click on the three dots, we'll go to import parameter values, we'll go to our downloads file, and click on our original downloaded file. The kite will recalculate and we're now back to where we left off on the previous design. Once you've finished designing the, the kite that you are trying to reduce, we need a way of uh, developing the, the manufacturing files, the 3D or the 2D flat files that will be cut and sewn together to create the kite. If we come down to this very bottom menu, downloads and exports, there is this toggle create 2D MFG file. If we click this, we've now created a set of 2D manufacturing files for this particular kite with uh, all of the panels, markings and seam allowances. You then need to enter your email address. Once you have your email address, we come back to the uh, top of the screen and click this little box icon. You'll see email 2D design file. So we have to have created our 2D MFG file. We have to have entered an email address. Once we have those two parameters in, we can click on this send email icon. The file will be processed and an email will be sent. When you get the email, there will be a download link which you can click. That download link will download a DXF file. Now a DXF file can be opened in any uh, modern uh, 2D CAD software. In this case, I'm going to open it with Rhino. When you open it up, you can see we have all of the panels, all of the seam allowances, markings, etc., ready to build your kite, along with some, some 2D drawings. There we go guys, that is the getting started with a Crorocad.online kite design software. If you have any questions, you can either leave them in the comments below, or you can email me at crorocad at gmail.com. Thank you very much.